Hey YouTube, Captain Tech here. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to handle NA messages in Excel. Let's go ahead and get started. So why are we getting these NA messages in the first place? Well, really what Excel is telling us is that whenever it tried to execute the VLOOKUP or the index match, it can't find the value. For one reason or another, it can't find the value. And what we need to do is take a step back and try to understand what may be some differences between our match keys that's causing Excel not to be able to pull those values. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most common examples where we'll get an NA message. And this is actually the case for whenever we're using numbers as our match key. So what we'll see in this particular example is on this first main sheet, I have a few item numbers along with the price associated with each number. And then I have a second tab here that shows you know the same items and how many items I have in stock. And let's imagine I wanna build an index match or if you look up to pull in the, the stock information here. And what you'll notice is as I pull this item in, to um, to that main tab, my first uh, sheet, is I'll get an NA message, which um, is kind of odd, you'll think. Uh, you know, I have 99999 here, and then that item also exists here. But what's actually going on, and this is a bit of a quirk of uh, Excel, is that sometimes Excel stores this, this number here as text, and some other times it stores it as a numerical value. And if there's ever a mismatch, we're always gonna get an NA message. So essentially we'll have to create parity between the two sheets. Um, either we'll need to store both of them as text or we'll have to store both of them as numbers. Um, one quick trick, if your match key is currently being stored as text is within your actual formula, you can, if you can go ahead and multiply your match key by one, right? So here I'm multiplying my A2 by one, and that's gonna force it to become a numerical value, and now it'll actually go ahead and pull in. But that really only works if this, uh, the value here is being stored as text, the values here. Um, if these were being stored as numbers and the values on my other sheet are the ones that are being stored as text, that won't quite work. Um, in a situation like that, I would have to manually change these to, to numbers to be able to create parity um, between the two. And one method to do that is very, very similar to what I just showed you. Um, I'll do it here for this example. Again, these items here are text currently. Um, what I can do to, to fix them is I'll go ahead and do equals and then just multiply it by one. I'm gonna force it to become a number and I'm gonna do that for all these values here. So I've created a version of them that are now numbers. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm going to essentially um, paste values. I'm gonna overwrite it. And what you'll notice, I'll, I'll do that again. I'll go back so you can see the formulas will update here. It'll actually fix the problem because now all these guys here are now numbers. The values over here are numbers, and now there's parity, and now the formula will work. All right, so what happens if we're not using numbers? What if we have something like text that's part of our match key and we're doing the index match if you look up and it's not pulling in? Well, I have ex an example just like this. Um, here's the, the text. We have a little shop here. We sell iPhones, we have the price and we wanna know how much we have in stock. And of course, we have the stock information over here. So we'll again do either a v look up or an index match and we'll try to pull in the stock information. And what we'll find is, at least for one of these, there's an NA error. So how do we go about this? What do we do? Well, so again, what Excel is essentially saying is, hey, I can't find this value. Um, if we take a, just a brief look at this, iPhone 13 black, 128 gigabytes, Verizon, um, it looks like there's a value just like that there. Um, and what's really critical to do in these instances, whenever we're troubleshooting an NA message where we're very, very, very sure that the data exists, is to actually compare the two values using um, the equals formula in Excel. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll, I'll copy this value that I think should exist, um, and you know that the formula should work. And what I'm gonna head and do is copy and paste that here in one of the cells 
and I'm gonna build a new formula to the right of it. And this is an Excel formula. We can just hit equals. We're gonna select this value. We're gonna hit equals one more time. And then we're gonna compare it to the thing that we think should be working. And the way this formula works is if these values are exactly the same, Excel will give us the result of true. And if there's even the slightest difference between the two, whether it's a space somewhere, there's a comma, there's a lack of a space, whatever, it'll give us the value of false. And if we hit enter, we get this value of false. So we know, we know now for sure there's some sort of difference that's causing this, um, these texts to not be recognized. And this is really helpful. Now we can go in here with a fine tooth comb um, and try to understand what are the differences in the text. And if you spend enough time, you'll see that this particular, this match key here has an extra space here right after horizon. And again, even the smallest things make a difference. So I just removed that space and now we see, or in stock, uh, Valley pulls in. But again, I just wanna drive this point forward is whenever we run into these problems and we're very, very sure that the match keys are exactly the same, bring both of the match keys into the same place and then run this formula. Try to compare them and this will, this will help diagnose the problem right away uh, and really help us understand whether or not what we think should be matching are in fact actually matching uh, with respect to those match keys. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. If the video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. Your feedback's super important. It helps me understand whether or not these videos are helpful and whether or not I should make similar content in the future. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other related content up here that I think you'll find quite useful. And with that, thanks for watching and take care.